Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Today is a very special luxury haul video that is non-Chanel actually for once, but I am wearing everything that I unboxed in my last video. If you've missed it, definitely have a watch here. I'm also wearing the new Chanel makeup. It's very, very pretty and very subtle. I don't know if it's translating on camera. We'll reveal everything, try on everything from the smallest item and then we'll also unbox and reveal the last item which is the handbag. This video is in collaboration with Farfetch. Thank you so very much for sponsoring part of this video. It also means that I have a new coupon code to share with you guys. You can save 10% at checkout for your first order. So this is the first item that I wanted to unbox. It comes in this beautiful packaging. A pair of sunglasses from Gentle Monster came all the way from Korea directly from the warehouse. Yes, I purchased this through Farfetch and what I love about Farfetch is that they carry tons of brands. Most of the most of my favorite brands they have and also uh, they connect you with all the different boutiques department stores and stores around the world which is why they usually always have the stock the sizes that i'm looking for so i've decided to give gentle monster a try because not only have i seen their stuff on korean drama so often i did watch quite a few videos online just to see um, and just to get an idea of the shape that i would like so i ended up choosing this one so the packaging uh, is slightly different on mine their cases have changed as well certified by Z oh. i know this is a company that creates um, lenses and stuff like that so it's has this certification and then in here you have oh you have uh, an authenticity card by Gentle Monster and it's even dated on um, the day that I purchased it which is really really cool so they stamp it um, and ship it to you on the day that you purchase it it comes with this uh, cloth for your uh, cleaning and then I guess their little manual I have seen other people's unboxing where their cases are a little bit different um, it's it's sort of like a soft, semi-soft, semi-rigid case. The bottom is rigid, the top here is softer, and it opens with this magnetic closure to reveal. So the inside is just uh, the same texture. So I chose this pair here. It comes really well packaged. I repackaged it to show you guys just because uh, I wanted to show you the original packaging, but I have already started using it and I love, I absolutely love these sunglasses. And I will tell you why, because normally I don't favor a full acetate frame, uh, the full uh, plastic look, because they tend to not fit my face shape. And also they tend to uh, just get very dirty very easily because they touch a lot of my cheek areas and you know all the sweat makeup whatever it gets accumulated so I don't tend to favor full acetate frames except this is a Korean brand as uh, I said earlier and they specialize for Asian fit uh, Asian have a flatter profile less of a nose bridge Asian cheekbones are also more prominent so they tend to be more uh, you know touching the frames especially when you smile but they have innovated it for Asian fit I can wear all the way high and sort of hide my brows or I can still wear it a bit lower and show a bit of my brows and both will work I think the most comfortable for me like the the regular fit on my nose is right about here showing just half of my brows and I think the fit is perfect it does not touch my cheeks at the moment I don't know if you can see it's not touching my cheeks and if I smile it will touch it but I find that I'm not gonna be like smiling all day right in these glasses if it touches it once in a while I'll just clean it and I love the oversizedness of this this is so cool and I see I'm, I'm smiling but it's not really touching which I um, I have scoured all the reviews out there to see which oversized black acetate frame will fit. I don't have the smallest face, but I also don't have the largest face. So I feel like this one, uh, based on all my research, 
was the oversized frame that I needed and I, it's just perfect. I love, love, love it so much. I love a little bit of that silver detail right here. I love that the arms are kind of thin, so a bit more feminine. I love that even though it's a full acetate black frame, it still looks quite feminine because the shape is more rounded right here. Mine is called the Six Bears and 01 just stands for the color code, which is black. So Six Bears is the model that I have it in and it even says it here on the arm right here. I love that their glasses are completely flat or they look very flat anyway, the very flat profile, which is the reason, one of the reasons I think it works for um, the Asian face because a lot of the more Western brands such as Ray-Ban, those just don't work for me. They are very curved and they're definitely made for more of a Western profile. The Zeus lenses, they are so clear. It makes whatever you're looking at even more clear than um, looking at the item with the naked eye. I don't know where to buy these here in Vancouver, to be honest. And I love the fact that you can just try it at the comfort of your own home. Obviously, I am keeping my pair because it had a sticker here on the left arm. When you remove it, then you're keeping the item. So obviously, I've already started wearing them and I just... For your information, I was considering the Six Bears, Jack By, um, Her, Dreamer, and uh, there was another one that I was considering. I think it was my mob. I kind of scoured the YouTube videos on how they look on other people and kind of judging based on their face compared to mine. Next, we have some Balenciaga. I ordered this one first and I loved it so much that I went ahead and ordered a second one, which I just received. So usually your Farfetch purchases will uh, be in a Farfetch box like this. Mine came in this uh, black dust bag. It's kind of like a generic dust bag. And inside it, there is the um, Balenciaga item. And just to show you the documentation, you have 14 days to return anything that doesn't fit. So that's pretty good and flexible. Sometimes they'll also include all the return uh, invoices so that you don't even have to print it. But even if you have to print it, you just do it online. It's quite easy. So these two items came from the same warehouse in, um, it's called Concession, um, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's the, I'm guessing it's the Balenciaga warehouse. I'm not sure. It's just called Concession Warehouse Clipper Logistics in Netherlands. So it came all the way from Amsterdam. I wanted to try the Balenciaga hat. So I bought the white one after I got, um, my other one, which I love so much. So, uh, let me just show you this one here this one i bought first and i loved it so much that i decided that i wanted to try the white one too so i got the pink this one is 100 percent cotton made in italy um valencia hat apparently it's organic cotton and um online it was showing one size which is why i didn't buy the white one first because i thought the white one was going to be too big but Apparently one size just means large. So they're all the same size, which is the large size, but they are adjustable, which um, fits perfectly. And here's the uh, Balenciaga tag made in Italy. The inside is just cotton. Um, they are adjustable and I heard that they are made small anyway. So usually even though I do wear a size 56 size small hat, um, this one actually fits perfectly. So I, I do agree that they are made small. So this is how this beautiful hat looks like. It makes my face look really, um, really good. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I don't have the biggest head or the biggest face, sort of just average, but this hat is just so flattering. I love this kind of dome shape here. The color is just amazing. So this is my side profile. Like you see, there's a bit more room here. Obviously my head, like I said, it's not the biggest, but it is adjustable. I love, love, love the color. This is a great spring summer color. It's sort of like a thicker cotton, so almost like a denim material. And since I couldn't get my hands on the Chanel one because I was after the Chanel one, then this 
is the next best thing. In fact, this is even more, even better, I think. This color is just so great. I love the Balencia logo right here on the cap section, so it's not so obvious. And yeah, I, I love it so much that I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna try the white one with the Balenciaga on the hat. And let's give this one a try. So yeah, some came packaged with tissue papers. Some of you will be saying, Ben, why don't you buy it in store, then you can try it out. Well, I could buy it in store, but they often don't have all the colors that I want. Uh, these are still very, very popular items that often sell out. And on top of that, it is actually cheaper on Farfetch because um, all the duties and taxes are included when I buy from Farfetch and I ship to Canada. So here is the white version. How cute is this, right? I will say I love the pink one more, but I just love how crisp a white color hat is. Like I said, I am going for more of a spring vibe. So yeah, which one do you guys like more? Do you like the logo on the hat more? And which color do you like more? Do you like the pink more or the white more? They're very similar and they're both quite nice. And third item that I got from Farfetch came in this big, big box. Came packaged with tissue paper and it had the, um, the plastic wrap. And of course, if you need to return the item, then you can just reuse the box and just send it back. The item that I picked is this beautiful spring coat right here. This coat came from this brand here, 12 Stories, and it is a wool and cashmere blended coat. It's a two-faced uh, wool coat, which means that there's no lining. It's actually, uh, both sides are the very soft wool blend, uh, cashmere wool blend material. This is what I love about Farfetch because it allows me to try brands that I would normally not have access to. So this brand, I sort of have been seeing around. I bought my cashmere winter coat uh, last time on Farfetch and it's from the brand Tagliatore and it's just oh my gosh the softest most um, just like the most um, luxurious cashmere material ever. This is one of the brands that I saw as well through my research in the past and I was really intrigued and wanted to try it out this time. 12 stories. This is the item that I chose. Unfortunately, this jacket, even though it's extra small slash small, uh, I guess I didn't know that it was that oversized. So I feel like this style, unfortunately, is made for someone so much taller and maybe rounder than me. I feel like I probably should have gone with their just plain wool coat that is so much more simple and just less fabric. Um, I guess I should have seen it because on the model, I think she was like, what, 5, 10, 11 probably. Uh, on her, it looks completely fine, but um, yeah, on me, it's just a bit big, but I still wanted to show it to you because the, the quality is just amazing. Um, I don't know if through the, I hope that through the lens, you can see how soft this material is and all the the finishing. This is the beautiful collar that I was very attracted to because it has this big, big lapel and it's so dramatic. Um, so I had to fold the sleeves on when I tried it out because I was like, oh my gosh, it's so long. And even the inside is all well finished. I am average height, 5'4", but um, it's still way too big on me. So sometimes I can pull off a more oversized look, but this one is just way too big. I'll probably return this one and buy this one instead, uh, or one of these these ones, I think. I'll be linking everything that I chose in the description box so that you can find it very easily. You can save 10% at checkout for your first order, which is amazing if you ask me. All of these things are applicable with that coupon, I believe. And yeah, have fun shopping. <laughs> I have never purchased anything from Prada before. Nothing. This is my very first time and this is their beautiful shopping bag. It even has this kind of nice um, um, imprint. This was literally the hardest thing to buy and those of you who follow me will know what it is right off the bat because I've talked about it a few times. I've been trying for months and I almost still couldn't buy this one. So a bit of story time, of course. We have my proof of purchase right here. 
The packaging is quite nice. I'm doing a, a, a more in-depth unboxing because like I said, I've never bought anything from Prada. I love the quite substantial textured box, the underside of the box. It's like Prada all over it. Really, really nice packaging, guys. It almost looks like a shoe box. It's so substantial. To reveal the Crystal Re-Edition handbag. I was told that this bag no longer comes with dust bags. And when I found that out, I was like, oh really? I was so disappointed. So the essay was nice enough to include one of their generic dust bags, like a plain um has a soft texture ish um dust bag the yeah the printing on it is a bit underwhelming if you ask me but it's nice of him anyway if you want to get more proper nicer dust bags for your bags for storage for traveling i actually recommend these new ones that zumune made they sent me quite a few to try so I have all the sizes right here and all the colors to show you. So it comes in four different colors and they are so beautiful. So these are all the size small, I think. And it comes in brown, in white, in pink, and in black. Microfiber material. It's nice and thick and soft. And it's quite well finished underneath. You can see that all the seams are well finished. They didn't just like do... um. They didn't just do like a, a weird quick job because you can't see the inside. It's really well finished and uh, it comes in two versions. It comes in the folded version as well as this drawstring version, which I prefer. The other nice feature is that it has a front pocket in front of it. So anytime you have any of the uh, authenticity cards or your receipts, you can store all of that in the front pocket so you won't lose it. Especially the Chanel ones when all of them comes in black. And I don't mind it, but it's just that when I buy a lighter color bag, I don't like to use a black dust bag because you just never know if the cotton material, any of the fibers will just start transferring onto the handbag, which is why I don't actually use my black dust bags to travel i will use a white dust bag so i feel like this is a great option i will link all of them down below this is the small size like i said earlier it will fit your small classic flap your minis uh the prada bag it also comes in a medium and a large size so this is the medium the medium will fit the neverfull mm size and the large will fit the um never full gm size or the on the go gm size the small will typically fit the more smaller mini bags because the size difference is quite big i would suggest based on what i have right here i actually would suggest that they make a middle size too between this and this this is actually too small for my trendy cc so i feel like it would benefit from having an in-between size okay back to this bag Ooh, so nice i honestly didn't think i would buy this so the bit of the story time is that i sort of was always intrigued about this bag right like all my friends have it and everyone's been unboxing one of these and so i was like you know what i'll try it anyway but every time i go to the store it was never available it was always sold out not only that there's actually a huge wait list um my name is on it but <laughs> it's like at the bottom of the list right so i've put my name down since um i don't know i think it was since october or something like a long time ago and um oh so pretty this is yeah, this is my first time looking at this every time i pass by my store i always ask about it i'm like oh so did you receive any and it never makes it on the floor anytime they receive any they receive one or two and they just go down the list of people so anyway it's been months and i still couldn't get my hands on it so online one day it popped up actually it popped up in the white color and i was so tempted but i thought to myself no just wait for the black so a few days later the black one popped up and it says available obviously i added to cart so fast checked out 
and I was really happy. I thought, okay, I'm gonna get it this time. But a few days later, I get an email from Prada telling me that my order needs to be canceled because they actually don't have the inventory. And so again, we're back to square one, no bag. And I called them actually, I called the Prada customer service and I asked them why they canceled it because online it's still showing that it's available and that I can add it to cart and I was about to pay again but I didn't want to pay and then get canceled again. So the nice lady on the phone, she double checked their inventory and it was indeed just a glitch. They don't have any in stock, but she also checked that it was showing that in Vancouver store, so the Vancouver Holt Renfrew Prada store, had two that just came in and told me to just call them to see if I can buy it from them directly, even though they're a separate entity. But anyway, I called the Vancouver Holt Renfrew store and um, I told them that I was directed from customer service and uh, found out that they have two new ones. And the nice essay on the phone uh, politely told me that, sorry, I can't sell it to you. We have a wait list. So I said that I'm just telling you what customer service is telling me because I tried to buy this bag for a long time and it just got canceled because they actually don't have inventory and I also told this nice essay that I'm also on their list and that I'm ready to buy it. So he said, let me just check with the next two in line and if they don't buy it and it's still available then I'll sell it to you. So a few hours later the same day I get a text from the essay telling me that it's actually available to me so that's how I got it because <laughs> I otherwise would probably still be waiting. Anyway that was long story short of what happened. So it comes with these documentations. This one just tells you about the leather which doesn't have much leather on this bag there's a bit of leather as well as the rfid so apparently this bag is equipped with rfid in this little envelope there's an authenticity card where it was purchased and the date as well so yeah it's pretty cool that it comes with an authenticity card as well as rfid equipped on the bag apparently metal Prada made in Italy plaque and it's a very soft material it's sort of like a satin very soft satin material it feels padded it feels like there's some sponge padding tag right there which is probably some QC tag I don't know it's because it's just a number and it's pretty simple there's no pockets or anything and like I said it just feels like it has that layer of sponge padding and it's just um, a very soft satin material. Therefore, um, probably prone to wear and tear, I would assume. I will probably get a organizer for this. The outside is mm, very mesmerizing. And um, I know that it looks way better when it's nighttime because all the reflected light, uh, all the crystal light will become even more apparent. Um, so yeah, the only bits that have leather is the clochette area, which is also stamped Prada Re-Edition 2000. So it has a bit of the Safiano leather on here as well as on the zipper pull. So this is the zipper pull. It's, um, it's okay. It's quite substantial. I love that it is very smooth. It's a very smooth, uh, straight one swipe type of zipper. I don't like any zippers that are hard to zip and unzip like if I have to go around any corners that's a big no-no and this is the strap which is made of the popular nylon material. The way it's woven looks like it can be more resistant to wear and tear hopefully because like I said I never owned any Prada bags um, so I only heard good things anyway. Uh, the body of the bag is where it shines the most. It has all these really stunning crystals that are installed on this uh, bag. And it's all throughout. There's no piping. And it's just 
one of the squishiest and apparently easiest to style handbags. It can go from day to night and I know it fits a lot already because I have tried it. I know it fits my phone, that's for sure. So I have the iPhone 10s Max and it just slips right in. Let me dim the lights to show you the difference. Let's see if it works. Does it, is it showing better now? The glitteriness. Actually, let me turn off more lights. There. I think it's better now with less of the lights on. It, I mean, I'm sure it's still even better when there's like almost no light and it's just reflecting all the all the beautiful crystal colors. It's like a rainbow color. It looks like it would be a really comfortable, very 90s style, which of course I grew up in the 90s. And um, yeah, these were the kind of handbags that like the handbag styles that I would carry back then. Like all the coach bags, they all just had a shoulder strap like this. Um, no crossbody straps, just like all shoulder style like this. And we're back to carrying that kind of bags. As you can see, it pretty much is ankle length for me. It's uh, very long, but it does look very nice once I wrap it. Um, it's quite oversized as you can see um, there's a ton of fabric but it does look very nice so yeah what do you think I thought it was maybe too big and too oversized for me but it is a look and it does have a back slit just have to open that up uh, obviously I had to fold the sleeves they are so tremendously long it's very glamorous and um, I feel like because it is such a long and big coat that it will actually be quite warm. It actually feels like it would be good for, um, I don't know, probably up to minus five even because it's quite a nice fabric. It's a nice wool cashmere, like I said. I wish that they made even more of a size down. Uh, so yeah, this is how it would look when I completely open the coat and now you can really see that it's very oversized. I just wanted to show you the contrast between that coat and this one which I bought last time. This one is definitely more of a winter vibe because it's a darker color but I like the length more on this. But yeah, the drape is just extraordinary so I do recommend it if you are um, slightly bigger than me or taller than me. I think it will work really really well for you because it's just really beautiful like the drape is just amazing so yeah i feel like for me it's too i don't know it's too much i i, I was going for a more i was definitely going for this color but i was going for a more um like less oversized like i don't mind oversized but this is just i think this is too big once i open it it just is a ton is a, a puddle of fabric.
there we have it, all my purchases today. My gentle monsters. My nice Prada bag from the 90s, 2000 era. Really cool. And also my hats. It actually goes well together, the hat and the sunnies. It, um, it actually does work together. These glasses, I will say, um, the only difference between the ones with the nose piece, when I put it on top of my head, if I tilt my head, then they will fall. Just like right here. <laughs> so you kind of just have to either put it on your shirt or if you do leave it on, on your head, don't tilt your head because they will just fall off. But they're otherwise so stunning. I love the bit of the silver and the oversized frame and how flat they are. Like they are just super duper cool, such as this bag as well. I feel like I'm back in the 90s. Let me know what you think of the items. Don't forget to check out Farfetch. Again, all my links are down below in my coupon code. Again, my code is only good for 30 days, so take advantage. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back, so don't forget to subscribe. In fact, you can also further support me by becoming my channel member and you'll get even more exclusive content just for you guys. Have a great day and week ahead of you and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!